Hello YouTube, this is Puck. How are you doing? Welcome to channel 48. Well, today we made the ride and collected the G1. It's the G100H, okay? And in fact, I went into the developer's options to, to, to find some boot, um boot loader or so to unlock, but there's nothing in there. This thing runs KitKat 4.4.4. So I have a Twerp 2.8, a TAR file that we're gonna install on this phone. So, and to do that, we will have to put the phone into a download mode, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn off the phone. There we go, we're turning it off. And when it's fully off, and we see no lights anymore, we're gonna put it into a download mode. Okay, I think it's it's off now. So to do that, we're gonna hold the volume down, press the, oh, it's not off yet. Yes, turn off. <laughs> it was not off yet. Okay, now it's turned off. Volume down, the home, and we press power, and we keep holding until we get into a download mode. You see that? And now we hit the volume one up, and now the phone is in the download mode. So now, Arden should see the phone whenever we're gonna connect it to the Windows computer that has Arden running. So let's see how that must be done. Okay, we fired up Arden. As you can see, Arden is connected, COM9. Yeah, the phone is connected in a download mode. We just put it together in a download mode. And now we're gonna go to AP. We go to the desktop where I have my file and it's called Twerp 2.8 for the G100. There it is. Okay, are you ready? We're gonna say start. Initializing, boom. And it's been done. The phone is injected. So what we're now gonna do, we're just gonna kick out the battery. We just kick it out. Let's see if it really worked. Okay, there we go. G100. There you go. And we just installed twerp okay okay though so there we are we first are gonna do a wipe advanced wipe dalvik system data and catch okay that is enough that is a good wipe and we wipe it okay though so we go back here we hit a little home the home in Twerp, eh? not the home of your phone. And then we're gonna say install. And you're gonna install the Puck iOS ROM G100H. Hey yo, you guys, listen up. Um, you must know, I made a little mistake there. You must know that this, this ROM is only for this phone. Eh? So if you're gonna install it on some other phone and it fails, I'm not responsible for that. Okay, and this is the installer. And Salamat Datang, that sounds like Indonesian. So I say uh, Salamat back, uh, Abakabar, to my Indonesian friends, whoever worked on this. So um, let, let's take a look there. Um, Tekan, next untuk me lan yutkan install iOS style okay so this comes from uh, Indonesian hands wait hold on I'm gonna turn off the flash okay, I just turned off the flash we're gonna hit next here peeps and uh, here you can see it um, the developer uh, that ported this ROM is Sesep Hayerudin and I know this name from another ROM as well for this for this phone so all credits goes to Sesep Harayudin for 
voor de ROM, voor porting this ROM, oké? Okay? But the teaming, however, the teaming was done by Onet Boots, oké? Okay? So he, this, this guy is, yeah, in fact the guy that uh, in fact made this uh, ROM look so uh, close, the settings part, etc. He did that, okay? So that was not done by me. What I did, I uh, I fixed the boot animation. I changed it to a better resolution. The one that uh, was in here didn't look good. It was too big and it was just not nice. So I fixed that because this this is very beautiful room. This must look must look good. And um, of course, I added my Pukrom apps such as a firewall, etc. Uh, the iPhone X uh, look and feels that's what I added and of course Bitdefender protection and the handy music apps that you always have in your Pukron even uh, NPO the old version that still works fine don't update it no need to update it we have as uh, as the store we have APK pure and that is also a reliable uh, yeah a reliable uh, store huh? these guys they I never found a virus yet in their in their store that while in um, what was this other called uh, Aptoid I find many many viruses guys can upload things there that are not being checked and tested but APK Pure is kind of different. These guys, yeah, I never found something wrong in it. Also, I did not find any uh, app that was stolen and remade, you know, and put there for free. That while normally you have to pay for that app, nothing like that. So I like APK Pure. It has my uh, uh, first choice. It has my choice over uh, one mobile market that we started with in the past. And of course, Aptoid, that was our second choice. And now we have APK Pure that became my final choice, uh, just because I want you to have a good experience. However, if you feel that you want Google Play Store installed on this phone, um, you can do that uh, by installing the Pico gaps if they are available for this uh, for this room. Um, but I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't use that. Uh, I have enough uh, sources to get my apps, so I don't need no no Play Store. It's also kind of big. It's almost 200 megabytes um, that it will become after installing the Pico gaps and not even talking about the official gaps. I think this is way over over one gigabyte. And on this phone, we only have two gigabytes left of space. This thing has four gigabyte internal memory. And we're doing everything until now with the internal memory. We're almost there. This was a real-time boot that you just saw. And there you go. And as you can see, I left the launcher of, uh, of my friend. And I'm gonna show that first. How that looks. You see that iPhone. And this is, I must say, a very nice launcher. But the icons, yeah, I think they are kind of a little bit big. They they look a little bit old fashioned. They look iOS 8 style. So I updated that. Let's unlock. Slide it one, one time up so you, so it will be set and then you can easily. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna hit the home. So you have two launchers that you can choose out. Uh, I would go for the X Home. That was that one was modded by me, and it's very cool because there it is. Just hit the OK there, and it will be set for always. And you can see the dock is also updated. We now have a nice iPhone X dock, but the most coolest of this all, of course, is the settings part. Eh?
you see that the about part of the phone you see that very nice lovely 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 here you can see it by on the boots it's also saying pucker on there you see that but that i inserted that 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 effect does not belong there but that is just for the show you know just for the show and whenever you're gonna connect to bluetooth it's gonna say iphone x you see that so yeah i'm very very happy with this and i want to uh, uh, ask you guys that are watching now and that has some common sense about uh, porting uh, please go ahead download this rom and port it to the s2 port it to the s3 especially this part here eh? the settings part if you can port the settings part to the to these kinds of phones then yeah then we have a real goal okay because now the G1 is the luckiest of all my Android phones to have this. And for those that might think that this is not a safe ROM to use, well, I can tell you it's, it's, it's pretty safe. Even though it's not the latest, latest Android. Um, because we have a built-in firewall. By running SuperSue, we can say OK. And we say no thank you we go to settings and here we're gonna say uh, do not ask but just apply okay so now when i gonna start up my firewall it will get automatically root access you see that it got super user access so now i can turn on the firewall this is the first iOS ROM ever presented that has a built-in firewall. So I'm kind of I'm kind of pr proud of that. Okay? Because yeah, you can protect yourself. At least you can. Even though this is Cyanogen mod, um, in fact, this was built on Cyanogen mod. Uh, you won't find uh, certain things so easy. You will have to go and look for them, okay? Because this is, yeah, it's iOS styled now. Eh? So certain things, yeah, are not in iOS and you will not easily find them here. So it's a good thing that we have our firewall and that we can block each and every app that we don't want to, you know? Because in the privacy here, you don't see the privacy guard. You see? So go and discover there are many secrets uh, uh, in this room cool things here we see security here privacy bescherming we do have oh look at that the privacy guard is here <laughs> here is the privacy guard and here oh look at that i found it i found it oh my goodness so we can go through all the apps and also disable them from you know connect let's see this, this dialer what it's doing location context context yeah it does affect all the things that it should do so yeah it, this is all good this is all good but the x home the iphone x launcher that we're using we can just deny everything in here you know you just deny these things deny deny it doesn't have to deny it's just a launcher it does not have to do all these things we have other apps that do these things for us already why should it read my agenda no need for that man it's a nice launcher but it doesn't have to do all these things and it from the 25th of may you guys will have to explain why you want all these things to be turned on eh? I'm, I'm, I'm warning you because we get new rules the new privacy rule is uh is starting officially at the 25th of may oh 
this one we must put on top to stand um, yeah this is it in fact somewhere it's gonna be here start up at start up it should also be here somewhere here Extuned. Anyway, in here you can go ahead and, and do all the little tweakings that you want to do. As you can see, this is this this is even more powerful than a real iOS ROM. Because <laughs> this thing has a privacy guard built in. Although I think the iOS phones also have that. So this is this is just fine. This is really nice. Uh, I would like to see this uh, under uh, Android 7. As you can see, the wallpaper is not uh, set it good. Uh, how to do that? Well, there seems to be a problem uh, with this ROM, as I found out uh, while testing it. And that is that it cannot uh, deal too good with the wallpapers. What you must do, just go up here and then choose wallpaper. You see, this thing is just like an iPhone. And then go here and choose for the orange little ball there and just go for a cyanogen mod wallpaper you see there are many pretty pretty ones i love this one most of the times also love this one this is the yeah effect this is also very nice you see that and this one here this is winter winter wonderland I'm just gonna go for the orange one here. You see that? Amazing room. I, I, I really love the work. I really love the work. And you can see now, um, it's all good. And if you're gonna restart, now you're gonna see a real time boot. A lovely lovely room I love it very very much it looks amazing amazing you know um, you don't see that it's an Android phone anymore only when you're gonna turn it on but from here up to the settings part you can get confused you will be like hey this is iOS man this is not uh, Android you know somebody that does not know so it's very well done and if you wait a couple of seconds it's gonna go to the lock screen after a couple of seconds look what's gonna happen you see the wallpaper stayed good because it has the right dimensions for this run and it should go to the lock screen any second from now you also see the nice roundings there you see that just like the iPhone 10 so this is now as well uh, a nice little uh, yeah cheap <laughs> twenty dollar uh, uh, iPhone 10 running Android looking all beautiful wow 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 I love this phone really I do well my friends that is all that's to it really easy no. So, in fact, you have the phone on KitKat, official uh, Samsung firmware. You go ahead and make a backup of whatever you want to keep. Then you put the phone into a download mode. You flash the Twerp 2.8 in Arden. Whenever the phone reboots, go back into the desktop, it will reboot just fine. In the desktop, it will connect to your computer, copy the Pukrom file the zip file to the phone to the root of the of the of the internal card if you have an external card you can also connect that and just copy it to the external card flash it after doing a wipe data factory reset we did wipe data uh, wipe catch wipe dalvik we did the whole thing except uh, for the internal storage don't forget about catch all the way down also wipe it then Continue the installing. Uh, you will see your installer will start up. Um, 
and the installer will continue whenever you hit next 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 after the installer is done uh, reboot back into system click no to install twerp just hit don't install it will then reboot into the system system will boot up and from there well i think you will know what to do right so i want you to enjoy your ios samsung 100g and yeah have fun with it share this rom uh, link uh, tools etc will be in the description uh, i want to give one more thanks uh, especially to elroy for this phone this phone was from elroy so thank you so much uh, elroy and um yeah i would say uh, good luck all of you there with your samsung g 100h remember this is only and for the samsung g 100h so no other model than the g 100h don't ask me to create any rom for another model because i will not do that okay so yeah you if you have another model of the of this phone then probably you will need another rom okay don't try flashing this because i'm not responsible for any phone that gets bricked out there i must kind of say these things because yeah but then again you guys are so smart to fix your bricked phones back to original you know how to do that right i love this uh, more stable um yeah control center so once again, thank you for watching. Leave this video a like. Uh, even duimpje omhoog als je dit een leuke video vond. En natuurlijk uh, subscribe to my channel. Hit the notifying bell. Otherwise you will never get an update from me again. Um, if you don't, you know, hit that notifying bell. Because that's just the way it is. Now here on YouTube, you need to hit the notifying bell. Otherwise you won't get no, no message whenever I upload the video. And I upload videos on daily basis. Okay, so keep that in mind. Good, not gonna talk any longer. Good night, have a fine weekend and enjoy your G100.